Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to present our work Beyond Outlier Detection, Outlier Interpretation by Attention Guided Triplet uh, Division Network. And I'm Xu Hongzhou, the first author of this paper. And I'm from National University of Defense Technology. And we, are, uh, we have a collaborator from Alibaba Cloud. Uh, okay, uh, our work considers outlier interpretation problem, and I would like to first introduce the background. Uh, okay, uh, and we can see here the outlier detection is a very popular task, which identifies some common data that uh, deviate significantly from the majority. And black holes are normal data in this uh, in this example. And outlier detection is to predict the outlier animal, deer, uh, zebra and the unicorn and the pegasus and the outer interpretation is an important complementary task. It is to investigate what distinguishes the acquired outlier from the given data set and how to characterize the acquired outlier. We need to find the antler of the deer, uh, the strip of the zebra, the horn of the unicorn and the wing of the pegasus. And our work target to handle tabular data and each data sample is a feature vector. So we define an interpretation of the queried outlier as a tailored feature subspace where the outlierness of this outlier is well demonstrated. So why we need outlier interpretation? It can help us better understand these detected outliers. And it is also benefit to downstream troubleshooting and decision making process. And to prevent these outliers, then the mechanism can be further optimized. But the outlier interpretation is still a challenging task. Although one of the straightforward solution is to compare the query outlier uh, with the normal data, but in real world scenarios, the normal distributions and patterns are generally very complex. But besides this task, will also lead to a tremendous searching space as we need to investigate every individual feature and every possible feature combination. Okay, let's look at this toy example. The ground truth interpretation can be obtained by selecting the best subspace from the power set. And in this example, the query outlier is initially described by three features, F1, F2, and F3. And the query outlier obtains the highest outlier score in feature subspace F1, F3, and the interpretation is F1, F3. Uh, and the mainstream of existing methods is based on score and search manner. And they have to employ searching strategies, impose uh, prompting methods, and uh, setting a maximum subspace lens uh, to handle this uh, tremendous searching space. And in this example, feature F1 and F3 may firstly pronged in the first level, and the and thus, this interpretation method can only yield the suboptimal result F1, F2. And compared with conventional subspace searching based uh, approach, a tune uh, or method like tone can directly learn uh, an embedding space and learn how to attach attention to these new dimensions by using a, a self attention learning model. Okay, and here I would like to first introduce the formal uh, problem statement. And place this figure and just assume that we have a data set that contains some data objects x1 to xn. Uh, and the outer detection is to identify outliers among these data objects and interpretation is to find a tailored explanatory subspace for each outlier. For example, the interpretation of outlier O2 is f1, f4, f5. Uh, and if the query outlier are detected by a specific outlier detection algorithm, and we call this process as model-specific outlier interpretation. And if we have had a list of uh, uh, queried outlier, uh, we call this process as a model-agnostic outlier interpretation. Um, okay, and here is our uh, method, Atom. Uh, and this is the basic network structure and which consists of the forming components. Uh, then I will introduce them one by one. Uh, okay, the first one is the triplet generator. Uh, these triplets are utilized to learn the separability of the query outlier from the, the normality. And therefore, the first triplet position is fixed as the query outlier. Uh, and, th uh, and this is one data object. And 
As for the other two positions, and we simultaneously consider both general、uh, normality and the local normality, and two candidate sides are formed for the rest of two positions x random. Denotes a candidate set of normal data objects randomly sampled from the full data set and x neighbor. Denotes a set containing the nearest neighbor normal data of the queried outlier. And the next component is feature embedding modeler. We expect this modeler can convert our original features to a new feature space with expanded high-level information and rich semantics. And as that term further needs to attach attention to each embedding dimension, so we need to transform attention coefficients of this embedding dimensions back to the original features by following some rules. Therefore, we can only use an uh can use an uh use an explainable linear layer here. The weight matrix is W, uh, and the data objects in triplets are converted to phi uh n phi m and phi o by matrix W. Uh, and as for our self attention learning model, and this model is to measure the contribution of each new dimensions to the Uh, outlierness of the queried outlier. So we use a single hidden layer feed-forward neural network here as a self-attention learning network, uh, and an embedded queried outlier and two embedded normal data, uh, are firstly flattened to a single vector by ve by vector concatenation, and then the attention uh matrix is obtained by a single hidden layer network. And finally, the attention coefficient for each embedding dimension is the average of the columns of matrix uh, A. Uh, then the data is masked and reversely masked by attention coefficient. We use element-wise product to mask attention coefficient to the uh, embedded data objects, and the reverse attention is one minus A. Uh, and here we got two cancel the triplets. Uh, by masking and reversely masking. Uh, and the next component is the most important one: the triplet division based loss function. And we need to achieve two goals here. The first one is normal counterparts. The normal counterparts and the queried outlier are expected to be separated clearly in the embedding、uh, space with attached attention. And this is consistent、uh, consistent with the, de the definition in the problem state statement, that is the outlier should be clearly、uh, demonstrated as outlierness in the interpretation subspace. Therefore, the first loss term is minimized to push the distance between two normal、uh, data m and n to be smaller, and the distance between the queried outlier and the normal data m to be larger than dm n plus e. And the e is a margin,、uh, which means attention guided embedding space is optimized to make the queried outlier be isolated from the normal data. And the triplet loss term and this tri triplet loss term uses a relative、uh, concept of separability rather than an absolute manner, and it provides a referenced score, a referenced distance between normal data. Which can help us to judge the whether the query outlier is effectively isolated. And the second target is the query outlier, and、uh, its normal counterparts should be indistinguishable in the embedding space with reversely attached attention, because we need to guarantee all the dimensions receiving less attention are unimportant indeed. Also, the self-attention learning model can be forced to capture important dimensions as comprehensive as possible. And the second loss term is to narrow the difference between DMN and DMO. And in the loss function, we use alpha to get a trade-off between the, these two targets. And alpha is a hyperparameter. Okay. After optimizing the network, we need we need to distill interpretation from the network.、Uh, matrix W、uh, is the optimized wet wet matrix in embedding model, and A star denotes the attention coefficient, which is a、uh, which denotes the importance of embedding features. 
And this equation is to transfer attention weights of embedding space back to original space. And the atom can further yield a feature subspace E by uh, incorporating with a, a, threshold, a, thre a threshold setting approach. Uh, next section is our experiment. I will first introduce the experimental setup. We use two types of competitors. The first one is use the feature weight as output, and the uh, next type is use feature subspace as output. And as there is no public available real-world data set with such interpretation annotations, therefore we use three representative outlier detection algorithms um, to evaluate outlying degree of real outliers given every possible subspace. And the ground truth interpretation for each outlier is the subspace that the outlier obtains the highest outlier score among all the possible subspace subspaces. And in terms of the evaluation metrics for the type two methods, um, they they use feature subspace as output, and uh, we can denote the ground truth subspace as G and the predicted subspace as P, and the way then can uh, can use the pre precision record and alpha score uh, to to evaluate their performance and the performance of the whole data set is the average value of every real uh, every real outlier and for the type one methods we can use area under the PR curve and the area under the RC curve to directly evaluate their ranking quality. And then we can transfer the feature weight to the subspace by setting the subspace size as the same as the real length of the interpretation. Uh, and then we can use the precision and the Jacquard index. Uh, well, well, because the precision and the recall will be the same value after this transformation. Uh, and thus, we only use precision and the Jacquard index here. And here is the computation between type one methods and Atom is the best performer on nine out of the 12 data size. Uh, and the and the specific results can refer can, can, can be referred in our paper. And the, this is the computation between type two methods and Atom uh, can also uh, significantly outperform these contenders. And we use Minis the data set here uh, as a case study. And we generate two imbalanced data set uh, by choosing relatively uh, similar numbers as normal data and outlier data. And we can see that the most different part uh, is given the highest uh, weight. Well, besides the outlier digit does not pass these pixels, but these positions should have trees in the normal condition. And these positions are also important to distinguish uh, digital five. Uh, okay, and here is the scalability test, uh, and uh, as can be seen in this figure, and our method tone can have a quite good, uh, quite good scalability. Uh, and in summary, uh, we have the following main contributions. And firstly, our method is a model agnostic and and domain agnostic alter interpretation method, and it can be used as any additional step to explain any outlier. And our method at tune uh, has uh, good effectiveness. Uh, well, well, uh, well, because it converts original space to a new embedding space with expanded high level information and rich semantics. And it also uh, can, uh, and it can also uh, so learn the contribution of each dimension, new dimension in embedding space by self attention modular. Well, besides. Uh, and our method can, uh, can uh, and our method that can avoid time-consuming searching process and uses sampling strategy uh, in the triplet generator process. Uh, so, so our method has good scalability. Well, finally, and we release our code for good repro reproducibility. Uh, okay, and that is all. Uh, thank you so much for your listening.